a dynamic equilibrium is a state of balance between continuing processes. It's very important to understand the concept of a dynamic equilibrium as chemical equilibrium is a form of dynamic equilibrium. So the large difference here is that a dynamic equilibrium refers to any process. So it is not only with regards to chemical reaction, it can be any process. So it can be something as simple as a shop that allows a maximum of 30 people in. We know that there is a dynamic equilibrium there because there are people queuing outside. So every time one person leaves, there is one person allowed in on the other side. So we say it's at equilibrium because there's a balance of 30 people at all times, but it's dynamic because it's constantly changing. And then when two people were leaving, you would then be allowed to let two people in. So that is a simple example of a dynamic equilibrium. A slightly more complicated example is one in which you place a jar of water that is sealed in a room. We know that a certain amount of that water would evaporate to form water vapor. And that would continue until it reaches a point where the air becomes saturated. And at that point, we say that dynamic equilibrium is established because every time a water molecule drops back into the liquid phase, another water molecule will be allowed to leave and become the gaseous phase. So we say it's dynamic equilibrium because the amount of liquid and the amount of gas remains constant even though there is constant change between the two. Then we also learn in this section that reactions are reversible. Basically saying that this reaction over here, we would react hydrogen and iodine to form hydrogen iodide, but we know that the reverse reaction is possible here too, which means that this hydrogen iodide would then react again to form hydrogen and iodine. So once again, we form an equilibrium where the concentrations of both sides remain constant, so it is that state of balance, although there is constant change between reactants and products. So all of these are examples of dynamic equilibrium systems, but only this one is a chemical equilibrium because chemical equilibrium only applies to chemical reactions that are reversible.